So, hello, welcome to this early tutorial video about the Feedloop platform. In this particular tutorial video, we will be discussing speaker portals. So this is very interesting for anyone who is taking up an active role in the early conference. Accessing your speaker portal is actually very easy. You will receive an email from the Feedloop platform, but complete with the early branding. So it will be very clear to you that it is an early email, which just has some general information about the fact that your speaker portal is now accessible. And then this lovely big blue button where you will just be able to access your speaker portal within one click of the button. So no need to copy paste any difficult passwords or to remember any difficult passwords. You will just be offered access through the click of a button without the need to log in or do anything like that. So once you click this blue button, you will be redirected automatically to your speaker portal, which will look a little something like this. And in the speaker portal, you will be able to access some backstage information about yourself as the speaker and your sessions. So this is important to bear in mind. This is not the actual conference platform itself, but rather a backstage area for anyone taking up an active role in the conference. Access to the speaker portal will be provided from the 2nd of August onwards, whereas access to the actual conference platform will be provided just a few days before the start of the conference. So feel free to have a look around in your speaker portal. There's really nothing you can do wrong here or any mistakes that you can make. You will find some general event details. You can also navigate to our speaker instructions, which we kindly advise you to have a look at because it will be quite helpful for anyone who is wanting to use the speaker platform or the speaker portal to update any information. And then you have a few options on the left-hand side, which I will just walk you through now. So if you click my profile, as you would expect, you will be able to edit some of your profile details, such as your name, last name. You can enter your university, for example, or the title that you hold, a short biography. And we also recommend you to upload a picture of yourself so that people can put a face to the name. This will all be visible for other attendees who are uh, attending the early conference. So feel free to add as much as you would like in your speaker portal. You can also add some contact information if you would like people to find you on Twitter, for example, you can enter your Twitter handle here. Navigate through sessions to find the sessions that you are taking an active role in. So this is very important. This is only those sessions that you are a presenting author, a chair or a discussant in. If you are the co-author in a number of sessions, these will not show up here. This is just the ones that you are taking an active role in. As you can see, I am the speaker of this speaker portal introduction session, which I am indeed recording on the 5th of July at 10 a.m. So that's all correct for me. If there's other people taking part in your session, you will also see a list of names included there. If you are, for example, taking part in a symposium, you will see the titles of the different sessions listed there as well. Session files is a very important and interesting tab, which we will also recommend to anyone taking part in an espresso session or in a poster session. So this is actually where you can upload your pre-recorded espresso videos or a full version of your poster, and it will be directly available in the session within the conference platform itself. So it's very easy to add a file here. You just follow the steps. You add a description to your file. If you want it to be a private file, you can check this option. But bear in mind that if this is a pre-recorded espresso video or a poster that you would like to be available for other delegates, don't check this private file because then it won't be accessible in the conference platform itself. And then you just click the browse button to upload the file. It can take a few minutes to upload a file, especially if it's a larger video file. So do make sure to keep your speaker portal opened until you receive the message that your file has been added correctly. If you were to then navigate back to sessions, you should see your file listed immediately in the session that you have uploaded it to. And just bear in mind that if you are taking part in multiple sessions, you will see a series of tabs at the top. So make sure that you have clicked the correct session in order to add the file to the correct session there. And lastly, you have announcements. And this is just where we, the organizers, might share some general announcements with our presenters. We're not yet sure whether we will be using this uh, quite often, so just keep an eye on it, but no need to, to expect a lot of communication from us there. 
So that's really all you need to know about speaker portals. Of course, if you have any questions about this, feel free to reach out to us at any time. And I can also happily recommend anyone who still has outstanding questions about this to join us in our live Q&A sessions on the 20th of July, as well as the 4th and 11th of August, where we will be taking up any questions that you might still have and happy to walk you through anything that might still be unclear.